Everybody's running around, it's like, AI tells me what to wear, AI tells me what to do for breakfast, AI teaches me to break up with my parents. Well, A, I want to participate, but I can already Google quantum mechanics explained in simple terms, and I can already write an essay. So, okay. Okay, Ellen, Jeffrey, Karen, I'm not afraid of you. Do something for me that I can't already do for myself. Like come up with Kendama tricks, I always need those. Alright, so we are inside ChatGPT a little late to the AI party, but I'm gonna try to get some Kendama tricks out of this thing and see what it knows about Kendama in the first place. So let's see, try some of these dares if it spits out something crazy, and we'll start it with a nice simple prompt. Kendama. Are we gonna get a definition? Traditional- yeah, that's boring. Stop talking. Give- oh, there's actually a button for that. Perfect. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people that could use one of those. Give me a Kendama- we'll start with trick, because maybe Kendama Dare will throw it off a little bit. Something went wrong. Give me a Kendama trick. One common Kendama trick is called Lighthouse. It involves swinging the ball up and flip it up to the small cup on the handle. Oh yeah, small cup on the handle. Okay, a little bit of roundabout way to explain a base cup. Then flipping the Kendama so the ball lands on the spike. Ball lands on the spike, spike lands on the ball. Something like that. But then it says flipping the Kendama so that the ball lands on the spike. So how are we gonna flip it so that the ball lands in the spike. I have to do a trade or something to satisfy the AI here. Okay there, lighthouse according to the AI. Let's see, let's see what else we can get here. Uh, what if we just give me another one? Oh, give me another one. Another common dom trick is called bird. It involves balancing the ball on the bottom of the handle and flipping the kendama so the ball lands on top of the handle, making it. I think this AI is scraping the entire internet for every kendama trick that's ever existed and just combining them. So we'll try the AI's bird. So maybe that's like handle stall to a normal bird. I can barely do those, but again, don't want to disappoint anybody here or any thing. Ooh, I think if we do that, it's like flipping the kendama, right? To get the bird up on the perch. From the handle flip up to the bird perch. I think I think she'll be happy with that. It'll be happy with that. They'll be happy with that. This thing gets a little bit too creative too quick. So let's say like, what's a fun, easy kendama trick? Oh, what a fun, easy kendama trick. Okay, well I figured it out anyway. Around the world involves swinging the ball up to the small cup on the handle. Catching on the opposite side of the handle. Give me a Kendama trick that makes sense. Common and relatively the sleeper. Swinging the Kendama so the ball stays in place for several seconds. Balancing the ball on the bottom cup and swing. Is this like centrifugal force? Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> oh. I feel like a chicken tender, dude. My head is like a convection oven right now. Balancing the ball on the base cup and swinging it around for several seconds. I feel like, you know, one of these, but I don't know how you could keep it on there. I mean, we could go back and forth. One eye blind, no eyes blind, finish. Oh, look at this. AI is changing the world clearly. 
All right, let me know if you can hit the sleeper, how many tries it takes. Give me another funny, oh, funny, silly kendama trick that will make me say yay. A silly and fun kendama trick called kendama boomerang. Throwing the kendama like a boomerang and catching it by the handle or one of the cups. <laughs> Meant to be for more fun and entertainment, not so serious. So you don't say. Throwing the kendama like a boomerang and catching it by one of the cups. Uh, maybe if I hang on to the. Oh, maybe if I hang on to the ball and like. Oh, okay, okay. Hold this right up here. <laughs> so goofy, dude. No, protect me. Okay, that's the boomerang. <laughs> that's gotta be in the next, I don't know, is there's like kendama competitions? Do that at one of them. Okay, the more specific prompt kind of works. So let's go, give me a strange kendama trick. We like those. Strange kendama trick is called pen spinning. Spinning the kendama on one finger like a pen spin with the ball rotating around the handle. I mean, I can spin like around my thumb. Okay, maybe not. I mean, that's as close as I can get to like a pen spin with a kendama unless you do one of these ones, but that's not around like one finger and it's, oh, it's way too fat. With the ball rotating around the handle. I could, you mean like, I could do like a gunslinger with the ball on there maybe? Is this like the pen spin? Oi! I can't see, bro. Oh, that was like a pen spin. The ball kind of went around the spin. Okay, if it's making up like crazy stuff when I ask for something basic, what's gonna happen if I ask, give me a kendama trick that makes no sense. Okay, this will be perfect. Kendama trick that makes no sense would be something that is physically impossible or goes against the basic principles of kendama play. For example, trying to balance the ball on a part of the kendama that is not meant to be used for catching, like the string or the hole in the handle, or breaking or modifying the kendama in a way that would re render it unplayable. Yeah, I can't balance the ball on the string, or a trick that involves breaking or modifying the kendama in a way that would render it unplayable. Well, that's subjective if something becomes unplayable or not. Breaking the kendama in a way that renders it unplayable. Well, if I say this is unplayable, it's unplayable. If I don't say it's unplayable, then I can say it's playable. Checkmate, www. Let's just see if, if I was a beginner starting out, tell me how to play Kendama. Traditional, oh, we're getting the definition. This is not teaching me anything. Give me a spicy kendama trick. Spicy is a term that can be used to describe a kendama. Okay. <laughs> okay. She really spit out a spicy trick. Oh, but it's defining the juggle wrong. It says juggling the ball between the cups and the spike, catching in different cups on the spike in suck, suck, suck session. So it's not really going for a typical kendama juggle to spike. It's just saying kind of to bounce around the cups and everything and to the spike and cup and spike and cup and cup and cup and cup and spike. So I can see that being called a juggle. Maybe did that used to be called a juggle? Somebody tell me because I know the juggle as the what, 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 what. As the what, 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 but maybe before that was a thing, people called this stuff the juggle. I don't know, maybe, maybe the AI is onto something, but I like that it defined spicy and then gave us something a little spicy. Okay, we gotta finish with something cool. What is a good 
kendama trick to impress my mom. The lighthouse. Why do you love the lighthouse? Impress my mom without a lighthouse. Enter, enter. Please. Stop. Oh, <laughs> another trick to impress your mom would be, but I stopped it. Okay, well, I apologize for not letting you finish. Classic man. Oh, this is interesting that I didn't even say anything about Kendama, but it's kind of like keeping up the conversation and knows I want Kendama stuff. I don't know if that's cool or not cool. Around the world, around the world will not impress my mom. Oh, here's a term people use. Give me a banger Kendama trick. I'm just trying to end. I will put you out of your misery if you just give me something cool. Ken flip. I was flipping the Kendama handle over, catching the ball on the spike, and flipping the handle back over to its original precision. Position involves flipping the kendama handle over, catching the ball on the spike, and then flipping the handle back over to its original position. This sounds more like it's describing a whirlwind, but maybe without the the earth turn part. Or no, I guess it could start with like a swing, like flip, and then here. I don't know, we have to, oh jeez. We have to kind of decode what it's going for. So I think like that, Makes sense, can flip, handle over, ball on spike, and then flipping the handle back over, so then it's like inward whirlwind. Oh, I'm gonna break something by the time this is over for sure. There. Into an inward whirlwind. Okay, that's gonna be our banger closer. Can flip, right here. Inward whirlwind, oh, the tip was wet. Wonder if the AI knows what that means. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Boom and the inward whirlwind to end it. I mean, that was not too bad. What is a wet tip in Kendama? Technique where the player applies a small to the tip of the spike? Oh no, AI is teaching us to lick our, not only our bevels, but to lick our spikes. Okay, not quite, but applaud for creativity. It's really just dropping all this knowledge on the reason people lick the pebble, but then just trying to get you to forget that it's talking about licking the actual spike. It works. Okay, obviously this is a little bit off the rails and super fun, but it could definitely do a part two to the AI generated condominators. Try going on ChatGPT yourself and typing these in and try all the ones I just did. Let's find out how to end a Kendama video. Oh, it's giving me like an actual suggestion. Listen, we just did a bunch of tricks. End a video in general. Enter, enter, enter. Summarize the main points. Okay, we did Kendama tricks that the AI told us to do. Goodbye.